Hello, welcome to part one of Rosedale's Distance Learning and Supports. Um, I am here. I am Miss Pear, sending you air hugs. Um, so happy to have you here with me today. Um, I wanted a chance to speak with the people who are supporting our students during this crisis, and that is you. So our distance learning expectations as a parent and guardian. That's what I want to talk to you about today. Just a really quick video. So it helps um, you feel connected, helps me feel connected and know that we are working together in this. So first of all, um, I want to say, um, put on your oxygen mask before assisting others. And what I mean by that is just like they say, you know, when you're in an airplane, you got to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. And that's my message for you today. It is so important that you take care of yourself. Otherwise, things can go real bad um, real quickly because you get stressed and anxious and tired and frustrated. Um, so you've got to do some things to help yourself. Two things that I know that really work well for me are breathing routines and muscle relaxation. So on this video, I have um, two places that you can go for that help. And so one of them is a breathing routine video for you to watch. And if you watched my morning broadcast this week, um, you know I was trying to teach the kids um, a breathing technique that they can use to take care of, you know, their mind so they can relax. The second video that I have there for you is a muscle relaxation video. And this one really helps me when I'm just feeling overwhelmed and um, I actually use it uh, when I go to bed at night because when I go to bed at night, my mind is still going, 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 and I feel so tense. But when I do this muscle relaxation, it makes me feel better. So I've done it enough um, that I don't need the video and you probably only have to watch it once. And I hope you'll take advantage of these two uh, resources so you can um, take care of yourself. And, you know, you could also make it a family affair. Have your family do both of these um, once a day, but it's mostly for you to take care of yourself. So what the experts say, these are just a few little things I want you to remember um, as you're going through your day about your kids and what you can expect. So uh, first bullet is expect your kids to surprise you and to keep being kids. So sometimes they are going to seem so mature and and um, get things done so easily and you're going to be like, wow, that was great. And then the next time they're going to act like a kid and uh, you're going to go, what happened to that mature person that was just here an hour ago? Um, but they're going to switch between both. And so you need to expect that. Know that you're going to get frustrated. You've already been there. I'm sure of it because um, as a parent, doing schoolwork with my kids was like, the worst. Um, and it was so hard. I'm an educator and they um, would balk at me when I would tell them to do something. I'd be like, but I'm an expert at this. Um, and I'd get frustrated. Um, when that happens, just apologize because we all do it and we all feel it. And if you just say, you know what, I love you. Um, I'm sorry I got frustrated. They're going to appreciate that and you're going to feel better. So your kids are not going to do what you want them to do. Not every time, not always. And um, in a later video, I'm going to give you some um, techniques on what we do in the classroom to help you with that. Um, your kids are going to communicate through their behavior. Watch their behavior. You can tell when they're getting frustrated. You can tell when they're tired. You can tell when they're hungry. I remember when, you know, my kids were just babies and it was always those three things, you know, they were tired. Um, they were hungry um, or they were frustrated, right? And um, so remember that they're, they're still kids and they're still going to have those needs and um, just watch those behaviors and know that they're not doing it on purpose. They're trying to tell you something. Also, what experts say is try a hug first. So when you're frustrated and you're mad and you're angry, hug. 
say, you know what, let's just hug. And that's going to make it all feel better. I know you know that, right? But it's easy to forget when you're in the heat of the moment. Um, keep moving your bodies. That was another thing um, in my video to the kids this week was you've got to stay active. You've got to do something. You've got to get outside. Um, doing a little circuit training for fun is so easy to do and it doesn't have to be as um, extravagant as, as, you know, what I did for the kids, but it was just an example. Get your bodies moving and laughter is really the best medicine, right? If you're getting frustrated, just find a way to laugh and even laugh at mistakes and laugh at the anger. Like, wait, you know, um, laughter, seek out a joke, <laughs> uh, watch a funny video. So let go of your expectations. You feel like, and you put an expectation on yourself that you got to do your, do your own work. you got to take care of the kids. You've got to make sure all this work is done. You have all these expectations that you're supposed to get done at the, you know, during the day. Well, get rid of those. You only can do what you can do. And, um, that is the best you can do. And that's all we want. Please don't feel like every assignment has to be done. And if it's not, your kid's going to fail. That is not what this is about. Um, this distance learning is so we can keep them on track. Um, but it's just meant to keep them on track so they don't get too far behind, right? Just if we can keep them where they are, we're doing okay. And um, they're going to be okay. We're going to get through this and the kids are going to be just fine after it, right? Um, I was reading an article about how um, these types of things, we worry so much about um, their loss of learning, but kids pick up things easily and they're going to pick up right where we left off. So don't stress your out, yourself out about getting everything done. Just do what you can. And um, last one here is predictability is key. So in the next video that you're going to see from me, we're going to talk about routines and schedules and um, that's what the kids need and they need the day to be predictable and you need the day to be predictable. So remember that. Okay. If um, you like some of this information, you'll see there's um, um, a site uh, that you can click on um, for the full article where this information came from. Okay. And lastly, you are enough. We know you are doing your best and that is enough and you are enough and just show love, compassion, have some grace for yourself for your kids, for your family, and um, we will get through this together. Um, don't you worry, and um, we are going to be okay. So I am planning on doing um, more of these videos, and so look for them um, to come, but I just wanted to, to let you know that you're doing a great job. We really appreciate your support, and whatever you're doing is enough. Take care.